A Course in Miracles, Volume 2, Workbook for Students, Lesson 61. I am the light of the world. Who is the light of the world except God's Son? This, then, is merely a statement of the truth about yourself. It is the opposite of a statement of pride, of arrogance, or of self-deception. It does not describe the self-concept you have made. It does not refer to any of the characteristics with which you have endowed your idols. It refers to you as you were created by God. It merely states the truth. To the ego, the idea for today is the epitome of self-glorification. But the ego does not understand humility, mistaking it for self-debasement. Humility consists in accepting your role in salvation and in taking no other. It is not humility to insist that you cannot be the light of the world, if that is the function God assigned to you. It is only arrogance that asserts this function cannot be for you, and arrogance is always the ego. True humility requires that you accept today's idea because it is the voice for God himself which tells you it is true. This is a beginning step in accepting your real function on earth. It is a giant stride in taking your rightful place in salvation. It is a positive assertion of your right to be saved and an acknowledgement of the power that is given you to save others. You will want to think about this idea as often as possible today. It is the perfect answer to all illusions and therefore to all temptations. It brings all images you have made about yourself to the truth and helps you to depart in peace, unburdened and certain of your purpose. As many practice periods as possible should be undertaken today, though each one need not exceed a minute or so. They should begin with telling yourself, I am the light of the world, that is my only function, that is why I am here. Then think about these statements for a short while, preferably with your eyes closed if the situation permits. Let a few related thoughts come to you and repeat the idea to yourself if your mind wanders away from the central idea. Be sure both to begin and end the day with a practice period. Thus, you will awaken with an acknowledgement of the truth about yourself. Reinforce this acknowledgement throughout the day and turn to sleep as you reaffirm your function and your only purpose here. The first and last practice periods may be somewhat longer than the rest if you find them helpful and want to extend them. Today's idea goes far beyond the ego's petty views of what you are and what your purpose is. As a bringer of salvation, this is obviously necessary. This is the first of a number of giant strides we will take in the next few weeks. Try today to begin to build a firm foundation for these advances. You are the light of the world. God has built his plan for the salvation of his son on you. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. In A Course in Miracles, it says that God placed a light within each of us and that light can expand. It can be seen by all and not overshadowed by clouds of uncertainty, clouds of doubt, clouds of misperception, clouds of illusions. You are the light of the world. I am the light of the world. This is not a brag. This is not a I am better than because why? We are all the light of the world. We are all the light of the world. Today I was thinking about a situation where a friend of mine 
is going through a little bit of a, a rough patch and needed some assistance from me. And I honestly didn't think I had the time to help because my time was consumed with other things that I was busy with. But I knew that what help she needed was within me and I have the know-how to help her. And so I wondered to myself, isn't it funny? We each have strengths and we each have weaknesses and within us, our strengths can help those around us and in need. But perhaps, just perhaps, we are so caught up in our own world that we don't gift our gifts of strength to others which keeps them enslaved in trials and tribulations, keeps us engrossed in busyness that isn't truly helpful to another. And maybe that is the ego's plan, just maybe. And so I decided today, hang on, let me send my friend a message and text her to say, come on over. I'm busy with something, but come on over and I will help you with whatever you need help on and at the same time i will continue on the sideline doing what i need to do to make sure it gets done but i did that and i was able to help her and i was able to let her go with the comfort and knowledge and peace that the information she had received and the help she had received from me was going to help her find the peace she, she needs to find in this situation. So next time you think you are too busy, next time you think you are not able to show that random one act of kindness to someone because you are too busy, remember this, you are the light of the world and you do not hide a light under anything. You let your light shine. So that was a little bit of a wake up call for me today. And it, it really did speak to me clearly. So I hope that that has helped you in some way. You are the light of the world. Let that sink in. I love you. I bless you. I honor you, cherish you. And I thank you so much for being here. I hope you are getting immeasurable value from these lessons. And I will see you again tomorrow. Take care.